we have had this Miko Aret One dehumidifier and air purifier for over a month now, and we absolutely love it. I'd even go so far as saying this is the best dehumidifier that we can find right now. I'm going to show you everything about the Miko Aret One, how it comes out of the box, how the control panel works, plus where we've been using this dehumidifier around our house. And I'll give you a full review at the end of the video because the new thing I'm trying to make your family happy is this Miko Aret One 18 liter dehumidifier and air purifier. For us, we're not rich and this seems like an insane amount of money to spend on anything, let alone something that just sucks water out of the air. But we've got a really big problem with mold around the house. Here's some footage of our greatest moldy hits. We've got it everywhere. Here it is in the hallway, behind the coats. I put up these boards to make the walls warmer and now they just get covered in mold. I even found some behind the brand new benches I was building in the kitchen. There's a whole video about this down in the description. I'm using Milton sterilizing fluid around the house to kill the mold spores and clean up all the mess that it leaves. As you know, if you're looking up this video, the mold just finds the coldest parts of the house, wherever they are. The water vapor in the air condenses and mold grows in those cold places. The worst patch that I found in the house is right here in, on the ceiling of my daughter's bedroom. And that's when I made my last dehumidifier video. It's a small budget one for under $80 or 80 pounds. There's a link in the description and it works really well, directly collecting about a litre a day in the bedroom. But I know that we need something much bigger, a more major solution to bring down the humidity in the house. I bought this relative humidity meter on Amazon and put it up in her room. It has gone up to 83% and the advice from the health executive is that it should be around 30 to 60%. So because of that and the mold, we know that we absolutely had to buy this the Miko Aretz One 18 litre dehumidifier and air purifier. We saw it purely by chance in our nearest Costco. The Miko dehumidifiers were all sold out last year on Amazon and John Lewis here in the UK. We saw it on the shelves and money is really tight, but I don't think we could face another year of cleaning mold off our coats and walls. What else could we do? Well, I, I did not think we'd pick up a humidifier today. A dehumidifier. We came in for some lemons. So we bought it. <laughs> I can say it is, without doubt, the best thing we have bought this year. I'll give you a full step-by-step -step review at the end of the video, but this is how much water we are removing every half a day. Look at all of that. Every 12 hours, that container fills up. That's about five liters. The house feels drier and warmer within about a day of plugging it in. And it removes a lot of water from the air in the first week. We think it might be drying out the whole house, the walls and carpets and gaps underneath the house and between the walls. The place just smells better and it might be in our heads, but our home definitely feels less damp. Let's open up this bad boy. <laughs> this is the Miko, the Miko Dry Direct One. And Miko have called their brand Miko Dry, which I've not heard of before, but I love this. Excellence in all things. They've even given themselves a, a Japanese style overblown sentence of mission statements. <laughs> because this is actually made in the UK. Well, no, it's not made, it's designed in the UK. It's made somewhere else, uh, but we've got a nice uh, Union Jack there. Let me give you a quick spin around the box so you can see exactly how the Aret One 18 litre dehumidifier arrives. Uh, the box is quite stylish, isn't it? 
it feels quite heavy, quite substantial. I'll put the, the, the weight of this particular unit on screen now. Here we go. Ah, we're in the UK, so obviously it comes with a UK plug. And there is a pack of, oh look, there's a, a filter that comes with it. We'll have a look at that. It says it's a free HEPA filter. And then there's a bag of instructions. Uh, it's quite nicely presented, but oh Miko, come on. How big is that text? That's, that must be only 10 point text. It wouldn't kill you to make the, the instructions bigger, would it? The sides are taped up so that they don't fall off. So we'll pull these bits of tape off for our first impressions unboxing. And then at the top, there's a sign here. The handle is below this label. Please lift the handle by pulling upwards with one hand each end. Which means I can demonstrate it with one hand because I'm holding the, the camera. You kind of lift each one at the same time. And that's your carry handle there. That's quite sleek, isn't it? Oh, I'm not sure I'd want to lift it though, but so that's a nice touch. And then we have the control panel, which is flush and all wipe clean. If I use the handle to tilt it up slightly, you can see the roller casters underneath. I don't want to lay it down because I don't want to scratch it, but uh, there are four casters, so it should glide across most floors. Let's turn it around. This looks like a really well-built, substantial unit. I really like how it comes out of the box. Uh, it looks good. Right, here's the, I guess this is the bin, is it? For uh, catching the, the liquid. And helpfully, there's a circuit diagram in there. That's very, <laughs> that's very thorough, isn't it? I, I won't be consulting that. The power cable, the cord, let's get that out, show you how long that is. It looks like it's about two meters. Yeah, I'd say it's about two meters long, very generous. And there's this cord storage thing that you can wrap the cable around when you are storing the dehumidifier. At the back, oh, this slides out. Oh, look at that. Uh, so I guess this is the, the element I've opened up the HEPA filter and I'm going to put this into, I guess this is the filter holder. I haven't read the instructions yet, <laughs> but I'll put it on screen if this is wrong. And then you slide this in, I guess. There's only one right way to do this and that clicks. So the filter is held in place. There's a user-friendly display, one-touch ease of use, contemporary controls. It's sleek and unobtrusive. The side air intake allows the dehumidifier to sit discreetly against the wall. It looks like Eva from Wally to me. Eva. You can easily clean the filter from the side without moving the unit. There's a cable tidy to keep wires out of the way and tangle free. A hidden handle for sleek lines along the top. There's a large window which lets you see the water level really clearly. Water can be emptied from both the left and right hand sides. Oversized ergonomic handles make it easy to remove the water bucket. And casters underneath are hidden behind feet that help the dehumidifier blend into any room. Let me show you how the control panel works if you're thinking of getting the Miko dehumidifier. It will give you an idea of the different things you can do with this. It looks complicated, but it's simple once you've used it a couple of times. This is how the control panel looks for the Miko dehumidifier. To turn it on, obviously, there's a power button here and it says 52. That means that the relative humidity at the moment in the room is being sampled at 50, now 56 
the numbers are jumping around and that's because the dehumidifier is sampling the air. I think it does this for about 10 minutes. So the reading on the display here will jump around for a bit while we get the dehumidifier started. The most important button on the on the whole unit is this button here with the icon showing a drip this is called the smart humidity mode button oh by the way you could probably hear it in the background i hope that's not too distracting uh, this button is crucial because this is the reading of the humidity in the room at the moment if i press the smart humidity mode button once that enters smart humidity mode and in this mode, the dehumidifier will default to a target humidity of 55% relative humidity and a low fan speed. So if I press it again, that shows you that the target humidity is 55%. Once the target of 55% has been reached, the dehumidifier will stop and every 30 minutes, the fan will kick in to check the humidity level and the dehumidifying indicator will turn off. I think that's this light here. Night mode can be set while the dehumidifier is in smart humidity mode by pressing, guess what, this moon icon here. This is the night mode button. If I press that, I'll just show you what it looks like. And we'll explain it properly in a minute. But the light comes on, all the lights go off so that you can get some sleep. You, you haven't got blue lights in your room at night. The fan speed, you probably can't hear it, I tend to not notice it, but in night mode the fan speed will be reduced to low. The buttons won't bleep when you touch them, so if I press this one you can see it's, or hear, that it's silent and all the lights on the display will turn off. Let's take it off night mode by pressing the night mode button, if I press it again you can see the light flips over to the smart humidity mode. We can set the dehumidifier to reach a target that isn't 55%. All I need to do is to keep pressing the smart humidity mode button and you can see that it cycles through these different relative humidity percentages. It goes 40 all the way up to 70. If I press it again, it goes to CO. CO stands for continuous, so it won't have a target humidity to reach. It will just keep running, come what may. If I press it again, let's set it to something like the default 55%. Once you've set the desired target humidity, it shows on the display for five seconds and then it changes to the current humidity level that it's reading in the room. The great thing with this mode is that once it's reached the target humidity level, the dehumidifier will stop. If I go back to the smart humidity button and hold it down for two seconds, AP shows on the display. That stands for air purification mode. Now, air purification mode means that the dehumidifier has turned off. So that light has gone off and the air purifier lights has come on. The unit is now just purifying the air and I can feel that it's uh, a nice jet of <laughs> cool air coming out. It's not dehumidifying. So this might be useful in the summer months when we don't tend to need to dehumidify the room. To take it off this mode, we just hold down the smart humidity button for two seconds and it goes back to dehumidifying the room. By the way, if this is helping you, thank you for hitting the thumbs up button. Let's see some more. Now the thing with air purifier is that it's always air purifying. It's always purifying the air either with the dehumidifier or without the dehumidifier. The other big button is this button here with the t-shirt icon on. Shall we press it? Let's press it. And you can see 35% appears. This is smart laundry mode. When it goes into smart laundry mode, the dehumidifier defaults to a target humidity of 35% and a high fan speed. I can definitely feel that with my hand right now. Smart laundry mode runs for six hours. So if I press the t-shirt button again, the smart laundry button, this shows SL that it's in smart laundry mode. If I press the t-shirt button twice, this shows the number of hours left for the smart laundry mode. So this 
06. That six there means there's six hours remaining and obviously it'll count down all the way down to zero. If the dehumidifier reaches a humidity level of about 32% before the six hours is up, the compressor turns off to stop the air from becoming too dry, but the fan does continue to run. We can put the dehumidifier into night mode even though it's in smart laundry mode naturally we'll just press the night mode button and the fan speed is now reduced to low the buttons won't bleep and all the lights on the display will turn off so now we're back into the regular dehumidifying the room mode child lock is the night mode button here you can see there's a little picture of a lock beneath the moon icon if we hold down the child lock button for two seconds and it just means that you can't interfere with it by pressing any of the buttons to turn off child lock just hold down the button for another two seconds once the dehumidifier is full it stops it does have a hose attachment so you can just have it empty itself as it goes along you can use the water for plants which are not edible and you can't drink the water it stores about 4.8 liters it has this really helpful carry handle i mean it's crucial because this unit is 18 kilograms and uh here's some footage of me niftily <laughs> lugging it uh up and down the stairs to uh the upstairs and downstairs landings and of course there are the caster wheels underneath which are hidden so it can slide and glide uh, across the floor on hard floors and carpets there's a HEPA filter. It is an air purifier. It purifies the air as it dehumidifies. We'll have the review now and thank you by the way for hitting the thumbs up or subscribe button if this video is helping you. Here is the full review. I am calling this a dad delivers success. It's magnificent. The air feels drier. My unstoppable wife says that she's not walking around hunched. You know, when it's cold and damp, you put your shoulders up around your ears. The dry air, I've been told, is easier and quicker to heat and, and cheaper as well. Because humid air carrying water, that air needs more energy to heat it up, apparently. So it feels like the house heats up quicker with the dehumidifier on. But we don't know if that's in our heads. Either way, it definitely feels better. I really like how the air comes out of the top of the dehumidifier. It's not a heater, but the airflow that comes out does feel nice and warm, which helps. I know you're going to ask me about the noise. It's like a low whooshing sound. I'll just pause for a moment. My microphone probably filters it out or boosts it, so the sound on this video probably isn't that useful, but it is like a low white noise. We've had this in our daughter's bedroom and she's slept right through it, though she does sleep through absolutely anything. I don't think I can sleep in the same room with this overnight, but you can have it running in another room or corridor or hallway if you're lucky enough to have one. For me, it's been quiet enough for that. For what it's worth, I don't notice any noise difference in night mode, even though the fan speed is meant to be lower. And I know you want to know how much power this thing uses. Miko says its power consumption is 250 watts. So that's six kilowatt hours per day, or six units of electricity, if you leave it running all day. We've left this running for the first couple of weeks to dry out the house. That's in October, so I'd hope the summer had kind of dried it out anyway. I've looked at our electric meter readings and I think it is using about six units per day. So that might affect how long you want to leave your dehumidifier running. I cannot recommend the Miko Aretz One dehumidifier more highly. It is fantastic and if you want to see it on Amazon there are links in the description. 
Say hi in the comments. It would be lovely to hear from you and all about your dehumidifier and mold troubles and tips and tricks. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up or the subscribe button. It really helps me out and helps me keep this channel going. And right here is what YouTube knows you are going to love watching next.